Good morning, fourth grade. Um, this is fourth grade vocabulary with Mr. Jennings. Um, like, love to see you guys. We're going to have uh, two more vocabulary words that we're going to be looking at this week. So over the last two weeks, you've learned um, four new vocabulary words. This is our knowledge bank. This is where we will house the new vocabulary words that we've already learned about and briefly touch on those words. Uh, we learned devoured, which, is mean, which means to eat hungrily, which we've seen the Teen Titans help us uh, see how um, the Teen Titans devoured some meat. Route, which is a way of travel from one place to another, which we might see on our maps on our cell phone. Bear means no covering. This isn't like bear like an animal. This is bear like nothing is there. So like my bare hands or my bare face. Or, and galloping, which means to move, run, uh, to move or run forward rapidly or to go fast. And usually we uh, reference the word galloping when we are talking about um, horses or donkeys. So um, the first vocabulary we have here that you probably heard and might have used, and I know that you guys heard this word before, and it's weak. And weak means having little power. Everybody say weak. Everybody say weak. Weak means having little power. This isn't like a day of the week. The day of the week has two E's, not an E and an A. That is also a um, homophone like we talked about um, with bear and bear. So we have weak. Weak means having little power. So right here I have a couple of pictures. So we can talk about having little power. We're talking about strength. So someone can be weak and not have a lot of strength. Weak like weak signal. So think about when the Wi-Fi is weak. Um, the the Wi-Fi is weak. So this here has a Wi-Fi who has only two bars and it has a weak signal. Or weak like um, having little power like in a chain or like in something that's weak. Like maybe the paper is weak or the chain here is weak. So you see these have like steel on them and then we have like a um, a clip here. So that clip part might be weaker and which means it has little power. So uh, power, when we're talking about power, it isn't always like physical strength. It can be different things that have little power. The next vocabulary word we have is overjoyed. Over, everybody say overjoyed. Everybody say overjoyed. Overjoy means filling with joy or extremely happy. So when you're extremely happy, like you like just I can't even get it out of me, just super excited, then you are overjoyed. And that means you're filled with joy or extremely happy. Right here we have an elderly person um, who's extremely uh, happy or overjoyed, a woman who is overjoyed, and a man who is overjoyed. And all of these people are filled with joy or extremely happy. We're going to watch a quick clip of a, a person winning a Oscar. Um, and this is like when people are acting in movies, they can win an Oscar. And he was extremely um, overjoyed or extremely happy. And some, most of the time when I see people overjoyed and they're so excited, they may be even like uh, shedding tears. So sometimes when you're overjoyed, you're shedding tears because you're just so excited. And that doesn't mean that you're sad because like usually we, they like when you're shedding tears, you're sad, but you can be overjoyed, um, like so excited that you also shed tears. So let's join into this video here. The Emmy goes to Billy Porter. <laughs> God bless you all. The category is love, y'all. Love. I am so overwhelmed and I am so overjoyed to have lived long enough to see this day. James Baldwin said, took many years of vomiting up all the filth that I had been taught about myself and halfway believed before I could walk around this earth like I had the right to be here. I have the right. You have the right. We all have the right. I love you all. They're telling me to please stop. God bless you. God bless you. If I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. I love you all.
So in that video, we seen Billy Porter. He was so um, overjoyed um, with winning an Oscar um, that he started to break down in tears because um, not because he was sad, but because he was so excited that he had been a pioneer for something new um, inside of um, the acting world. Um, so we've learned a couple of words here. I want to show us them one more time. We have overjoyed, which means filled with jo joy or being extremely happy. Weak, which means having little power. Um, and then we have our uh, last vocabulary words that we've learned that are in our knowledge bank, which is devoured, which is to eat hungrily, route, a way of travel from one place to another, bear, which means no covering, and galloping, which means to move or run forward rapidly or go fast. So here is our vocabulary for this week. Can't wait to you guys use these vocabulary words in your um, sentences and um, your new weekly lessons.